What's going on, Aces? Welcome back to the channel. So last night, Karen Huger totaled her Maserati, and thankfully she is okay. You know, she was not harmed physically. The air tags did deploy. But I'm going to read you guys this article from TMZ because they gave an update at 425 p.m. She spoke out. She says, quote, thank you for all your prayers and well wishes during this very frightening experience. I am still in shock from last night's incident, but grateful to be alive today. With the passing of my beloved mother, grief comes and goes in waves. And with Mother's Day approaching, it has felt more like a tsunami. She adds, last night I met a girlfriend for dinner. We talked and brought up some very emotionally sensitive topics. I was crying on my way home and saw a car heading right for me. I swerved to avoid the head-on collision, hit the divider, and then a tree. I'm hurt, bruised up a bit, but so grateful I am alive. I did receive citations one of which was unrelated to the incident, which is understandable. But what was most surprising is that the car that almost hit me just drove away. Karen finishes by saying, I would like to stress, it is important to understand your emotional state when driving. And may this be a reminder to all to use their seatbelts. My mother may be my guardian angel, but that seatbelt saved my life. <laughs> no, that's right. <laughs> I know that's right. Wear your seatbelts, people. So Karen Huger was involved in a scary crash this week with officers telling us that she wrecked her car so badly that it's no longer operable. A representative for the Montgomery County Police said that the Real Housewives of Potomac Star was driving her 2017 Maserati late last night, Tuesday night in Potomac, Maryland, in what they described to be in a very aggressive manner too fast for the conditions, they said. We're told that the airbag did deploy in the car, that there were no other passengers in her vehicle, no word on um, whether or not she or anyone else was injured. This was yesterday, so I'm hoping that the person who drove away wasn't injured, and then Karen, because of her seatbelt and her, at, her airbag uh, deployment, prevented her injury. It says that the car itself was allegedly damaged so badly that it couldn't be driven and a tow truck was um, called to retrieve it. The extent of the damage is not yet known. Cops says that Karen Huger received multiple citations, although we're unclear exactly what they were for at this time. However, she was not arrested because we know Karen. <laughs> we know Karen, Karen Huger. Uh, we reached out to Karen um, but so far, no word back. So this was yesterday at 10.52, and then she did contact them and gave them that statement that I read at the beginning that she was citing her emotional state. So again, my prayers go out to Karen Huber. I'm glad to see or to hear that, you know, she's okay. Unfortunately, um, you know, her car seems to be totaled, but that's just material things, right? So I'm glad that she is doing well. I hope that maybe she can see uh, talk to someone about her grief because I know that she was real close with her mom and this might be a time where she may need to seek you know a professional maybe even Dr. Ken you know who um, went to Candace's house I'm not sure what his area of expertise is but maybe she can find a counselor or someone that can help her unpack her grief and really work through the death of her mom, because the last thing we want, right, is for, you know, her to be driving um, so recklessly and speeding that she does um, end up hurting herself or someone else. Of course, not intentionally, but we don't want um, anyone to be driving in such a, an emotional state. Um, but if it's, if it's getting to the point where you feel like you're, you know, hitting a divider and then hitting the tree, um, it might be it might be a, a sign or a signal that you may want to sit down and um, really work through that grief with someone that's more professionally trained than a girlfriend, right? Of course, it's always great to have a support system, um, and I'm glad that her friend was there. But this seems to be a little bit um, more serious than Karen might have originally thought, and it might be time to. 
um, talk with Ray about maybe, you know, seeing someone if she wants him there as support um, or going by herself. But it, it might be time to see a professional to get some, you know, someone who specifies in uh, grief counseling. But yeah, I'm really glad that, you know, she was able to walk away unscathed. We already know that Karen has been going through, you know, health issues. Um, so we don't want to see anything happen to her or any of the ladies. So I just wanted to bring you guys that uh, quick story. Um, unfortunately, you know, the person that um, she said that almost hit her just drove off. So that's really scary. I don't know if they were, um, again, hurt. I hope not. But I mean, you at least want to stop and see if that person is okay, especially if um, they said that her car was so totaled, it hit the divider and then it hit the tree. So whoever um, sped off like that, that's scary. Like, you know, I just feel like we're, we're getting to a place in society where like the empathy for, you know, our fellow human beings is just, I feel like the, like the well is running dry, you know? Like if you see somebody hit a tree and total, almost total their car, you want to stop and see if they're okay. Call the paramedics, call the police. You know what I mean? Like what if something did happen and her car, you know, would have burst in the flames or, you know what I mean? Like anything can happen. Um, cars are, are serious, especially if that, you know, the car hits a tree and she's totaled her Maserati. She couldn't drive it. They had to call a tow truck. So whoever that person is, I mean, I understand that, you know, that's scary, but you want to at least stop and see if that person's okay. Call 911 before speeding off, right? Anyway, I don't know. I just, I'm glad that she is okay. And I'm glad that she spoke out and said that, you know, um, she was driving in an emotional state. But it did say it was multiple citations. So I don't know if... Um, I don't know what the citations were. They didn't mention it. I don't know if Karen will mention it uh, in the next season or even at the reunion. But the fact that um, it was after she was, you know, having dinner with a girlfriend and she was crying, that's, it is, it's concerning. Um, if I find out what the multiple citations are, of course, you guys know I'm going to bring you an update because I want to know myself. But, um, yeah, that's, I'm glad that the, like she said, the seatbelt saved her life. So I know Kanye is out here a mess and a half. Um, but he also said, you know, in uh, his song Through the Wire, yeah, that the seatbelt saved his life too. So y'all wear your seatbelts out there. You know what I mean? Like they are life-saving tools um, when you're driving. So anyway, you guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Are you guys surprised that uh, Karen got into this accident or that uh, the police gave her multiple citations? That's what I'm, I'm like, I'm glad that she's okay, but I wonder what, what the multiple citations were. I'm trying to, I'm trying to look through the article and it doesn't say anything. Her airbag deployed, so she must've really been going fast. Um, oh, here, it, yeah, it says cops uh, said that she received multiple citations, um, but were told that she wasn't arrested. So that's good. So I'm thinking it wasn't, it didn't have anything to do um, with any kind of substance. So that's good. But the fact that it was multiple citations, that's, that's interesting. I wonder if they're going to bring it up on the show or if Andy or, you know what I mean? Like somebody will ask her at the reunion. Either way, I'm just glad that she's okay. I'm glad that, you know, she was able to walk away fairly unharmed. I hope maybe she went to the hospital or something and got checked out. Just, you know, preventative measures. Because, listen, we all love Karen and Karen looks fabulous, but she is triple 20. So, you know what I mean? At 60 years old, you know, you don't bounce back like you did when you were 19. I'm not 60 and I don't bounce back. <laughs> I don't bounce back like I was 19. I had to tell one of my friends that um, I'd hurt my ankle. And I was like, girl, I am not 19 anymore and I can feel it. Uh, so definitely, you know, you want to make sure that you're taking care of your body and taking care of yourself. You know, if you're going through an emotional situation, please do not speed, um, but always wear your seatbelts. 
And yeah, and take care of yourselves, you guys. I'm glad that Karen's okay. You guys let me know your thoughts. Please be sure to like the video, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will talk with you in the next one. Take care, Aces. Bye.